Ladies and gents, welcome back. Sorry for the late start on this one, but hey, let's get into it. There's an awful lot of misinformation, says Justin Trudeau. Trudeau lectures Muslims concerned with about gender ideology. Now, there's been some protests that have been breaking out over this whole scenario, and we're going to get to that. But it starts with this. There was a video that went viral on the internet recently, and this was uh, Trudeau in Calgary lecturing Muslim parents about the dif misinformation and disinformation. They just don't understand what's going on really in the schools. They have no idea. They're being misled by the American propagandists, he's saying. Prime Minister Trudeau lectured members of Calgary's Muslim community concerned about gender ideology in schools, saying there's an awful lot of in misinformation and disinformation fueled by the American right wing. No, they're not listening to their children and the stuff that their kids are bringing home to them. No, they're all being fueled by uh, MAGA. I don't know. Where is this coming from? Anyway, here's the clip that's uh, going viral here. <laughs> Protect our beliefs, our culture as well, the same that you are doing to the rest. Mm -hmm. So this is where we're coming from. You know, and it, I, I, I've heard this concern many, many times, and I, and I know that it is a very real issue. First of all, there is an awful lot of misinformation and disinformation out there. Uh, people on social media, particularly fueled by the American right wing, are uh, spreading a lot of untruths about what's actually in the provincial curriculum. Like, the federal government doesn't control what's taught in schools. That's the provincial government that controls what's taught in schools. So uh, that's not something that is directly on the federal government. But at the same time, the federal government is unequivocal about standing up for everyone's rights and freedoms. Uh, and the highest expression of parental rights is, of course, the safety and well-being of the child. Right? Your, your concern as a community is for the safety, the well-being, uh, the, the, the strength and the protection for your children. I entirely understand that. The one thing that is really, really important in Canada is a workplace that stands up for everybody's rights. And certainly when it comes to the Muslim community, this government has, well, we were the government that pushed back against the conservatives. Okay, so then he goes into what the conservatives have done wrong. <laughs> well, not defending what his uh, his stance is actually on the the government stepping in and, and pushing school to do what they what what's been going on with this uh, situation here. Now, Trudeau has been outspoken on the idea of uh, well, LGBT stuff in, in schools. Of course, he has no say whatsoever on what goes on in schools. That's a provincial matter. But he can't help himself but to butt his, himself in there. And even Pierre uh, Polyev, the opposition, has said Trudeau needs to butt out. Trudeau says Muslims against LGBT ideology in schools are misled by misinformation and disinformation from the American right wing. This was uh, another article from the post millennium, post millennial here, and uh, another clip that again that's going viral from this. And this is more from this uh, from this, but this has led to a lot of protests, uh, including in in Mississauga, as we'll get to. Leave our kids alone. The Muslim community in Calgary has been vocal in recent weeks. They have rallied protest after protest behind a powerful slogan, leave our kids alone, expressing their resistance to gender ideology being taught in schools. Like teaching this ideology in schools is violating our rights as parents uh, because we believe we have the right to teach our uh, kids the way we, we see fit. When the Prime Minister found himself confronted about this growing concern, his response was somewhat evasive. Trudeau suggested that the controversy surrounding the provincial curriculum were the byproduct of disinformation spread by American right wing social media influencers. Watch. You know, and it, I, I, I've heard this concern many, many times, and I, and I know that it is a very real issue. First of all, there is an awful lot of misinformation and disinformation. Yeah, and of course, we've already seen that scene there. Now, I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can watch the full six minute video. But it's a lot of just that. Now, this even made American news headlines. Uh, New York Post here writing about this. Justin Trudeau blames American right wing for Muslims opposing LGBT. Q curriculum. Leave our kids alone is the slogan here. 
Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is blaming, again, the right wing. The video of Trudeau speaking to the Muslim community last week at a Calgary mosque after hundreds of protesters rallied against gender ideology in the school, chanting, leave our kids alone. The frustration reaching a boiling point after audio surfaced of an Edmonton public schools teacher berating Muslim students for skipping school in order to avoid pride events. It goes two ways, said this this teacher. If you want to be respected for who you are, you won't you don't want to suffer prejudice for your religion, your your color of your skin, whatever. You better get back give it back to people who are different from you. That's how it works, says the teacher. Now many Canadians would say this is not how it works. It's not a reciprocal thing. It's uh, people have a right. They don't have uh, to be, uh, you know, give some reciprocal type of thing in order to retain their rights. Um, LGBT in schools, many would argue, is not a right. It's not a right. We, we People don't have a right to push their religion on other people in schools. Yes, you, you have the right to be whatever it is that you are, but you don't have a right to push it on other people. And that's the whole problem here now breaking hundreds of muslim parents march against justin trudeau's radical lgbtq indoctrination of canadian children again with the same slogan leave our kids alone now this is a real difficult one for the the people on the left because they're playing this this ideological thing of uh you know get get people behind you that are of some sort of minority and then play pit that against other people now we have two cases where you have a minority of people in canada that are at odds with each other and the liberals are just don't know what to do in this case uh muslims do have a right to celebrate their religion and practice their religion in the way that they see fit now the rights that the liberals are claiming in this case with the lgbt in schools conflicts with that right that the muslims have to practice their religion in their own way that they see fit and it's it's really getting in the way of that muslim parents living in mississauga ontario have decided they have had enough with Canadian government's push of gen gender ideology on school children and they're taken to the streets to make their voices heard. Now, this is, uh, there's some footage of this here. This is in Mississauga. And so far, so far, we don't really have a political party standing with us. And that's what we want. We want a political party to stand for children, to stand for parents, and we waiting for them. And too bad, honestly, many of us supported Prime Minister Trudeau. Many of us supported him. Many immigrant communities supported Trudeau. And now what's he saying? He's saying the Muslims are being brainwashed. We're not brainwashed. We are professional people. Up here, there's doctors and lawyers and engineers and people that work from home and homemakers. We're professional people. We're not brainwashed. We know the facts. We're, we just all of a sudden didn't become hateful people. We've always had a concern. It's what's happening. Our schools is getting worse and worse and worse. And now they've crossed the red line. Our children are our red line. Children are the red line that they've crossed in this case. Now, <laughs> again, they don't know what to do in this case. Here's uh, Mississauga mayor coming out and denouncing these protests. Mississauga Mayor Rally Reddy's police city security ahead of planned anti-pride protest. The mayor of Mississauga has readied the police and, and city security ahead of the anti-pride protest this weekend. On Friday, Mississauga Mayor Bonnie Crombie issued a statement that she was deeply disappointed to learn of the action planned to take place in the vicinity of the city hall on Saturday. As mayor, I strongly believe in the principles of inclusivity, acceptance, and equality, and strongly denounce this rally, Com Crombie said. I want to make it clear that I stand firmly against the actions or events that seek to promote discrimination or undermine the rights and dignity of the 2S LGBTQI plus community. Now, her office made some statements here, but, you know, people could play this both ways they could say that they're deeply disappointed to learn of the anti-muslim uh, actions being planned by the city as the mayor she should stand up against any actions that are discriminatory and undermine the rights of muslim parents 
mean, the, you can play this game over and over again, and this is this is the whole uh, you know idea of uh, intersectionalism. This is the the uh, idea I, ideology of the left at this point, and well, it's 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 pitting people against people and now this is all starting to backfire on them in this case now ctv of course doing their thing saying come on denounce something pierre jump out there and because oh, this is <laughs> another person who is who is photographed with people wearing t-shirts with whatever messaging that they had on them this time it was uh jazz raj uh, Singh Halan from the and uh, from the sorry from the uh, from the Conservative Party. He's the shadow minister for finance, the opposition, the the uh, the the guy exactly opposite aisle of uh, Christia Freeland in this case. He's a, a member of Parliament from Calgary Forest Lawn. Now he was photographed with these men wearing their "Leave Our Kids Alone" or "Leave Our Children Alone" uh, shirts. And while well, he's being asked, Pierre Polyev is being asked to denounce his member of parliament here in this article uh, that's activism. This is not, this is not an article of uh, news just for the fact. No, this is a, this is a rallying cry for, and for the office of Pierre Polyev to denounce an MP because of a picture that was taken of him. Now, this is not... Uh, unusual because, well, hey, they came and rallied around uh, denou having Pierre Polyev denounce uh, this man who was wearing a shirt that was a joke shirt, by the way, talking, uh, it was uh, saying, thank a straight person for your existence because it took two straight people for uh, you to, to be here on earth. This is kind of the whole idea and saying straight pride as a joke. Uh, because, well, the, the thought here is that no one is actually discriminated against in this country. People are pushing their own ideologies, but everybody has a right to be who they are and, and practice their religions the way they want to. What, what's happening now is that this LGBT thing is pushing into schools and indoctrinating children and people who don't agree with it are very upset with this. And this is this is where this kind of thing comes about. But hey, um I'm going to leave this one with you guys. What do you think of this whole situation with uh, the federal government involving themselves in the curriculums of schools in provinces? This is a provincial matter. Now, if the provinces want to have this, people can take this up with the provinces and people can take this up with their municipalities and their school boards and they can can do that if justin trudeau is getting in the way well he's he's stepping above and beyond the purview of his role in government let me know what you think in the comment section down below we'll see you in the next one keep on trucking